Today's video, we're going to be working on this shower head. You can see here we just have a lot of corrosion and buildup. And what we want to do is we want to update this old shower head to a more modern shower head. Again, it doesn't matter what shower head. It's all basically the same principle as far as removing and replacing it. Here we have a pair of channel locks. We're basically just going to loosen it and we're going to remove the shower head. See here on this new shower head that we're going to install, you can see here that this does come with a little filter almost like the aerators on a faucet. Run into situations where even a technician doesn't look inside of the little stem here and often what happens is they end up putting the new shower head without checking inside and then they find that there's a restriction inside of the new shower head. So basically you want to look here, this little rubber gasket we're going to pull out and sometimes it's just like a little filter here that will come out as well. You just want to make sure that there's nothing inside of the shower head. Start removing the Teflon tape that's wrapped around the threading of the neck. Here I'm just going to wipe it down. I don't want anything to contaminate when I put my new filter with the shower head inside. Here we have some Teflon and basically we're just going to wrap it around the pipe. Sometimes just check and inspect your packaging if you purchase a new shower head, especially if you purchase you know, something that's a little more on the high end side. They will actually put a little bit of this inside of there for you already. Here we wrapped it around and just make sure when you're wrapping it you don't cover this portion right here. Now we're going to take our new shower head and we're just going to hand tighten it. At this point, we are going to tighten it down a little bit more. Basically half a turn should suffice. Here, what we're going to do is we have a rag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my rag over the base. And when I put my rag over it, I'll take my channel locks and just gently, slowly turn it. The reason I'm putting the rag is because I don't want the teeth to cut the chrome. See here, we don't have any scuffing. Or scratches. Turn the water on and we're going to check for leaks. This video was a help. If it was informational, please subscribe.